Coming into the game, Bowling Green was the number one team in the MAC East, with Akron not far behind. This meant that the game was a must win for Akron, and a big part of being able to do that was shutting down Justin Turner. Akron started off strong on defense, making Bowling Green work for every shot, while making moves of their own and creating openings to put points on the board. Number four, Tyler Cheese has the ball and gets by thanks to a block by number five, Cameron Reese. It's only a couple minutes into the game and Akron couldn't make a shot after scoring five points until number five, Greg Tribble, made a jump layup, finally giving the Zips a score of seven. Shortly after that, Williams adds another bucket, giving the Zips a small lead. Bowling Green with the ball, their goal to make it to the hoop, Akron's defenders couldn't stop number 25 from dunking on them. With 12 minutes left in the half, Bowling Green's Justin Turner drains a step back three, but the Zips quickly counter with a deep three of their own from Lauren Christian Jackson. Just a few seconds later, it's once again Jackson with the ball underneath. He makes the shot and the free throw to go with it. Here's the wide angle of Lauren Christian Jackson making the layup. Jackson cannot be stopped as he sinks a three. Tyler Cheese passes the ball to Reese, who is wide open while the Bowling Green defenders just stand there. At halftime, Akron is leading the game 35-29, Bowling Green needs to come back with their game faces on to remain the number one seed. It's not till almost two minutes into the second half before the Zips score. Jackson passes to Williams for a layup with Bowling Green aggressively defending. A lapse in the Akron defense allows Bowling Green to fire off two shots in quick succession, but thankfully for the Zips, both attempts missed. Tyler Cheese jumps into a shot, causing him to collide with Taylor Matos being sent to the line for two. Akron knew coming into this game, if they wanted to win, they were going to have to shut down Justin Turner, and that's exactly what they did. Jackson making his free throws seems to foreshadow the rest of the half with the zips going on to make most of their later ones. Channel Banks gets a jump shot field goal without even setting. With seven minutes left, Bowling Green's number three lost control of the ball, turning it over to the zips. Jackson, waiting for an opening to the basket, crosses under the hoop to make the layup. Akron ended up winning 74-59 to defeat the number one seed. Signing off, I'm Brady Fisher.